Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. What I have is a Rockford Fosgate. I think this is called the BD-1000s. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't look into the name of this amplifier, but it is the, uh, uh, the Stardust uh, Class BD board. And I thought I'd just go over... Uh, just a quick rundown of the amplifier itself and how I resolved the problem that it had. So when I first uh, got this board in and I had powered up, it have a the transformer would squeal uh, like there's no tomorrow. It was just a loud, high pitched whine to it, and one side of the power supply transistors would heat up quite significantly. The other side would stay pretty cool. So it would build rail voltage, so I knew that uh, at least the power supply side was good. There was just a problem with the signal. Um, I was getting a good gate drive on the power supply, which you can test on these amplifiers without having your B positive hooked up here. If you have your ground and 12 volts to your remote, you will start your drive. So that's one way you can at least check your drive to the transformer without having to apply uh, voltage to the transistor itself to build rail voltage. So you can test the drive with just the remote and the ground. So I did have a really clean drive signal. The problem was, was when I would start to apply the rail voltage to the output section. You can see here that one transistor is missing. It was shorted. So I pulled this whole thermal management board off, uh, which you can do. You can just take the whole board out. It's easier than just pulling one transistor off here, uh, in my opinion, to leave the original shape of the uh, transistor that you took out, which I like to bend my legs to the new transistor before I solder it back to the board. It's just easier for me to do. And if you're familiar with your desoldering gun, it just takes just a minute to pull all the solder from the legs and pull this board out. So I pulled that out and it would still give that really nasty whine on the transformer. So going back through, I would look uh, at the schematic. There is a schematic available for these Stardust boards, which give you a quick look here so here's one of the schematics here this is showing the u11 yeah which gives you your carrier signal and your your synchronization i your sync for short i guess what they call it here on the schematic your sync signal uh u11 here is responsible for providing that carrier signal over to your drivers for the output section so i removed u11 off the board and then reapplied my 12 volts to build rail voltage on this. And then lo and behold, the transformer, the whole board itself ran just fine. Uh, you, can, you can start this board up without U11 in. Again, that's the IC that uh, creates your carrier and your synchronization signal going back to uh, U16 here, to the clock for your uh, power supply. So I had that IC out, U11. I would show uh, the positive voltage on the gates, which I'd expect because your uh, latch pulls these high without that carrier signal. So it was all working good. Um, I, every time I'd probe U21 here, this TL072 on the board, which is part of the latch circuit, it would make the... Uh, it would throw the signal off to the transformer and it would start to whine again. So what I did is I replaced U21, the TL072 here, and it cleared that problem up pretty pretty quick. Uh, so what I did is I replaced U11, an LM6172, and uh, from there I fired the board back up and had a perfect carrier signal. 
and then I did show that I had a um, 100 kilohertz signal on the gates of the output transistors. So I knew I was on the right track of getting this put back together uh, properly. Again, through the schematic, if you just follow how this U11 creates that carrier signal and your, your sync signal going back to the power supply, you'll know pretty quick if you have the right drive signal going to your uh, drive ICs for your outputs. So then what I did is I reinstalled the output thermal management board here. Put this back in, fired the board up, and it had a perfect signal. I put in a 50 hertz signal on the inputs here, and I had a 50 hertz signal on the outputs. So really to sum this board up here, uh, U11, as long as, if you, uh, as long as you have your carrier on your U11, and your latch circuit is functional, uh, this is a pretty straightforward board from there. And just to note too, this uses the SG3526 IC. Uh, so if you're gonna be repairing Rockford Fosgate boards of this type, I would recommend trying to find some of these to have on hand. These are getting a little harder to come by. Uh, pretty much a lot of these ICs are hard to come by. So that solved the uh, power supply just by changing U11 and uh, changing U21. It starts up fine. Uh, so just to note, uh, without the uh, output board in, the power supply will build to about 107 volts. And these are 100 volt ra rated rail caps. So it will build up to 107 volts. Um, and I used a, I used just a 50k resistor, 5 watt resistor across the rail to help discharge this rail a little bit. Um, but with the output uh, thermal management board in, then the rails only built to 82 volts. So I just want to let you know that if you do test this board without the output board in that you do exceed the voltage rating of the capacitors just a little bit. Um, I still believe it's within their tolerance that I believe. Uh, so just giving you a, a heads up. And this board does not have discharge resistors. So please be careful if you're working on these boards uh, that this will store uh, about 87 volts with the board in and it'll store about 100 volts with the board out. So just uh, keep your discharge resistors handy and uh, be safe. So otherwise, uh, Rob, this board's good to go. It's got it all done for you. I got the output inductor uh, wound back around in its proper place and soldered back in place. Uh, I did not put the winding in that holds this one end down. Uh, I'm not sure if you would like to take care of that task or not, but uh, I'm just going to leave this as is because you said this is a collector's board, so uh, I'm not going to do too much as in gluing things down on this. And you are good to go on this board. It'll be back on the road soon. I hope you have an output transistor. I don't have any of these. And they are absolutely a bear to find. So um, it's good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next video.